The lights don't work. What if they can't walk? Now, Lucky, don't panic. Remember, I warned you that something like this could happen. I really believe this is a temporary situation. See, the, the bullet wound and the operation caused some swelling and pressure around your spinal cord, so the signals are not getting from your brain to your legs. But the x-rays show that there's no motor damage, so you're going to be fine. When will I get to ride my bike? Well, we're going to see some improvement soon. Now, look, I know this is upsetting for you, but you're going to be fine, okay? Don't be afraid. It's scary. Okay. Sorry for being such a chicken, Dad. You're not. No, you're, you're the bravest guy I know. And, and, and Tony's the best, so if he says that you're going to be okay, you believe him. It's just going to take a little time. I'm going to go check on the, your lunch tray, honey. I'll be right back. This is your spinal cord. Like a cable with a bunch of wires wrapped. And that's exactly what it is. You, you have a real good feel for this. Uh, it's pretty easy. Yeah. This is your abdominal cavity. All right, so the bullet went in here, and it lodged here. Now, see how close that is to the spine? Now, with everything that went on, the surgery and the bullet wound, some of the wires in the cable got swollen, and they're very delicate. So they can't carry the impulses from the brain to the leg muscles. So, in other words, my legs don't know that I want them to move? Not yet, but when the swelling goes down. Let me show you this other picture. I'll be right back, cowboy. Yeah, it's a bigger day. Dr. Alvaroff to ICU. Dr. Alvaroff to ICU. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do this. I'm sorry. Oh, you're entitled. It's just that I'm almost here somewhere on the run. I always felt like we were invulnerable. It was stupid. Sounds like a pretty good, solid survival technique to me. We can't get ourselves anymore, can we? No, we can't. How are we going to keep those safe now, Luke? I think the time has come for me to sit down with Frank. Maybe there, yeah, two twins, twins. I like it. I like well, a little puppy. I'm gonna just lean on your little face and you. Whoa, oh, sorry about that. That was close. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. All right, let me put this here. I like no, no. Up. Oh, beautiful. Okay. All right. What does this say to you? And I'm gonna kill my booking agent when I get back to Manhattan. Uh, you know. Oh, never mind. Okay. The fog machine. Where is the fog machine? Fog machine. Yeah, you know that European kind of smoky, sexy, foggy look? I um, want those that. Those of us who worked in the 90s do not use fog machines. We do not use carrier pigeons or the Pony Express either. But I like look, fog machines. Look, you hired me because you wanted a very now layout. There's a lot of hot new things that I want to try. So why don't you just relax and let me do what you're paying me my big fee to do? Please. Fine. Whatever. Brenda? What yes. the heck is taking so long? Come but on. This physical perfection takes time, you know, even for me. Yeah, well, I, I am paying this, this Richard Avedon think he is by the hour. So could you hurry up? Let's just okay. come out. Okay, 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 okay. Ta-da! Right, okay. 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 ah. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Turn away from the camera. Come back very slowly. Slowly. Yes, that's it. Nice. Very nice. No, no, no. Very you know, nice. I like profile more. Profile, please, I think more. Please. Okay. <sighs> Brenda, okay, come on down. Lay down across the chair. Good. Okay, now flirt with the camera. Beautiful. Okay. Tease it. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Now let your hair fall. Let your hair fall. Well, you know, please maybe a brush in there. It's, it's kind of messy. Just a little bit of a brush. You know, put it back around. Please, Lucy. Maybe, please. I do not believe this. I'm just saying.
mean that the image for deception is neat and clean and not messy. Her hair looks a little messy. She's looking exactly the way I've been trying to get her to look for the past 15 minutes. Oh. Sorry. Please, continue. Carry on. Go ahead. Do it. Go. Thank come you. On. Let's go. Go. Okay. Come on, Brenda. Now look straight at the camera. Right, right. That's it. Great. Look at it. Okay, Brenda, look at the camera. Look down. Keep it. Beautiful. Hold it down. Hold it. Soft. Slinky. Sexy. Great. Look into the camera. Hold it. Beautiful. Put the hair down in front of the face a little bit. Look down, hold it, stop, great, keep it, that's beautiful, baby, beautiful, sexy, sexy, hold it, look into the camera, keep it, nice, come on down, stop, all right, all right, looking good, looking good, stop, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, beautiful, beautiful, all right, that was great, stop, very nice, 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 okay, <laughs> oh, keep it right there, oh, it was incredible, Brenda, take a break, <laughs> I'm gonna reload, <sighs> Great. If you touch anything on this set, I will hurt you. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. Isn't it funny how some people just get a little sensitive about someone else's input? But you know something? That really was fabulous. She looked great. Thank you. Good. I'm having fun. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. Well, you know, you're kind of lucky. You're such a babe in the woods, and you already know what you want to do with your life. Well, if you're speaking of modeling, it's not exactly my life ambition. Yeah, well, you just said it was fun, though. Uh, it is, for the moment. I just have a little more in mind for myself. Oh, gee. Making scads of money and having everybody tell you how beautiful you look all the time sounds really good to me. Lucy, listen. I just want to use my brains, you know, instead of my body. I mean, who wants to stay in a field where you're finished at the first sign of a wrinkle? I want to be in a career where the motto is... The older, the better. Huh? How about that? Uh, well, we all could be so lucky. Oh, come on. You have holdings in ELQ, deception. You've got it made. True. Well, maybe. For now. But, you know, I don't know. It's very difficult being this businesswoman type. Well, I would be very interested in the business side of deception. I mean, with my sister gone and Scott gone, I mean, you must be desperate for help, right? Brenda, I am never desperate. And besides, in case you haven't noticed, seen through all that hairspray and stuff, deception's running smoothly, very, very smoothly. And because, after all, it was my idea. I know, and it was a great idea. And when you first started, you needed someone with a good business sense, right? And you still do, Lucy. You're talking about Julia. Look, your sister did have good business sense. I'm sure she still does, but I don't think that sort of thing is genetic, and besides, you don't have any experience. But I learn fast. That's swell. Then you stay in college and get your degree, and then when you're all done, like a good little girl, you come back and maybe we'll talk about your future deception. Where'd you get your degree from, Lucy? Well, Brenda... He's back! Ready not, to make magic, Brenda? This is not the end of this conversation. Why don't you run along, get over there, and be beautiful? Because that is what we pay you for. For now. Okay, Brenda, let's do some laying down again. How about sitting up? Okay, let's look fabulous. This is for Brad. This is just for Brad, okay? Lucy. Hi. I just wanted to stop by and tell you that I'm not giving up on deception. Gee, Brenda, I'm glad to hear it because you really, you are an asset to us. And I could do so much more. Look, you, you have this great thing about you, you know, and, and, and you're just a natural in front of the camera, so why don't you use that and just stick to what you're good at? Use the modeling as a career. Right. Okay, we'll just table this discussion for now. What I really wanted to know is, how are you getting along now that Scott and the baby are gone? Well, actually, it's just been um, rather hideous, and I have done the best I can to keep myself distracted. Oh, right. The old keep yourself so busy, you don't have time to think, much less cry, boy. Well, obviously, you have been there a time or two. Yeah, uh, quite recently, in fact. So, what did you do to keep yourself busy? Lucy, I'll ask you a question. Do you think that it's terrible to make a man fall in love with you just to teach him a lesson? No way. You have to. I mean, <laughs> I think guys sort of need to be knocked down a notch or two every once in a while. You know, it builds their little pitiful characters. <laughs> oh! Wow, 
I love the way you think. That's great. Oh, okay. You. Now, do you have a way that you can do this that never fails? I mean, like some surefire formula? Yes, you know, like a great bread recipe. No, I mean, I think you have to take each individual case as an individual, you know? Oh, pity. No. Because women of our caliber tend to be very creative. Right. You used to be married to Alan, right? I'd be interested in your evaluation of the Quartermain men. Oh, Quartermain men. Yeah. Definitely, most of them need to be taught a lesson or two. Right. Who are you out to humble? Ned. AJ. AJ. Hmm, a very noble cause. Do you have any tips for me? Hmm, let's see. <clears throat> Wear red. And remember, there is no greater joy in life than getting the better of a man. And it is completely <laughs> exhilarating if you can get him to fall in love with you in the process. Ah, oh, <laughs> they're in love and revenge. Mm. Thank you for the advice. Keep the faith, baby. All right. <laughs> I'll see you later. Sure. Bye. You caught me. Ah, it reminds me of those tribal war dances that I've been watching on <laughs> public television. Well, you've got the right idea. I'm uh, kind of going into action tonight. Oh, dear. I pity him. I assume it's that arrogant young man that you've been planning to humble. Is it that obvious? <laughs> I might have to rethink the dress. I, too, have been known to wear red on occasions. <laughs> Well, if I had your baby blues, I'd cause trouble to no end. Lila, do you mind if I ask you something? Of course, dear. What have you found more useful in your life? Beauty or brains? I mean, since you have both. <laughs> oh, aren't you kind to say so? But tell me, why are you asking? Well, it seems that beautiful women can achieve things in life. Well, because the world is the way it is, and men are men, and... It also seems like clever women can achieve things, too. Well, by earning them, perhaps. Well, there's that. I've just been trying to figure out what I want to do with my life. And modeling is great. You can't beat the money. It just seems kind of silly to me. I'd love to get involved in the business side of deception. But Lucy doesn't like the idea. I don't know, maybe I could save my money and start a business of my own. But why are you in such a hurry? I don't know. I just am. You're young, you're beautiful, and you're smart. So why not take the time to get the one thing that you're lacking, which is an education? So you do think the brains are more important than beauty? Well, it seems sensible to vigorously pursue your education. <sighs> well, there are many ways to educate yourself. I think the one thing that's really missing in my life is love. I mean, romantic, passionate, serious love. Would you be at all reassured if I said there's not a slightest doubt in my mind that you will eventually experience exactly the kind of love that you're describing? Perhaps more than once. Hmm? Why do you think so? Because, my dear, you're essentially so lovable. In addition to having both beauty and brains. Thank you, Lana. Mm. And do have a wonderful time tonight. And be careful, dear. Very careful. Careful? What fun is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bye. My darling. <laughs>